this. Today we're gonna eat some cake, bitch. Like we already have it. We started eating it for TikTok. This is how it looks like finished. It's like a vanilla cake from vanilla pudding. Mmm. Let's pretend we didn't do that. Okay. We have to get a good bite. First bite. Thumbnail check! Mmm. It's amazing. I really love cake. Me posing for thumbnail. <gasps> mm. I usually make it chocolate, but now it's vanilla cake. It's amazing. I even like to make it with toast. I'm going to make some type of patty cake, some pudding, and be like a cream, slag cream. Mm. I spell it on me. It's amazing. Anyways, today, today, we're mm, can't get enough of it. Mm. Okay, today we're gonna talk about some drama, bitch. In case you're living around a rock and you haven't heard. James Charles is an, in another drama. Like, bitch. Apparently, there's a story going on that he groomed the 16-year-old. And James was quick to come up with the response. So here's what he had to say. You can pause the video to read it. So basically, he was explaining the whole situation. So that guy responded with this. Like, girl, cloud chaser. And bitch, I have an opinion, and I'm gonna say it. But when I get more of this cake, wait, I have to prepare myself. Oh. Okay. So, this guy has texted, or James texted this guy that's 16. And first of all, this is not the first time that this happens. James has been in a lot of drama, even the previous year, in 2019, for grooming somebody, because he goes after these young TikTokers, or like young influencers, young boys in general, and he likes straight boys. Bitch. <laughs> I don't think he's a groomer, 100%. Do you really think he'd be that stupid to make the same mistake again when he knows he's going to be exposed? Here's the tea. And here's what I have to tell you from my experience. All them TikTok boys that pretend they're straight, like, bitch, we all know you really ain't. You just ain't straight. They Everybody's pretending they're straight. And this happened to me, too. Because, like, they would he purposely hit up James because they know he, he is looking for somebody and he always gets played. Because they know he's vulnerable and he's an easy target and that's why they go after him and they send him, like, nice stuff or, like, that they love him or that they like him and then he gets excited and forgets that he's a huge social media person, an influencer, and maybe sends, like, a butt pic or something, and then they're like, oh, I'm straight, and also, I'm 16. When in the beginning of the conversation, they always say they of age, and they're 18, 19, or etc. And then, when James sends a news or something, then they're like, oh, I'm 16, then they expose him. They're all just cloud chasers. It's literally pathetic, and it disgusts me because this happens to me. I'm not as big as James, of course, but it's like, I always get hit up by men, random men in my Instagram DMs, saying they like me and shit, 
And sometimes, two times I fell for it. And there's a huge drama on my channel about it. If you haven't seen the video where I exposed that guy, then he later on threatened me like bitch. But I learned my lesson. Whenever a freaking man messaged me, I'm not gonna respond. Tako da, svi ovi što mi nadrkani likovi koji su u mojim porkama i mojim dijemovima na Instagramu, ne želim da odgovorim. Gdje pišu te da me žvala i da me žele. Like, bitch, ja znam da me ne svako želi, ali nikome ne može imati. I know they want me, and bitch, they're just cloud chasers, and they are... They are evil. They are literally... You don't know some of these intentions. For example, in my case, when those men message me, I know now for sure they, like, they... I don't trust them. I, in general, don't trust anybody. Much less any man, because all men are trash. Like, big on trash. Put all men in cages. And basically, I know either they're trying to find my address or something... Or they want to kill me, or I just know it's not good vibes, and that's why I stopped completely responding to everybody. Anyhow, uh, in James' case, he is hungry, he's lonely, and he wants a guy, and he tends to forget his huge success, and he's ready to dump it all over into the ocean for this one guy that likes him like bitch. James needs to get his shit together and be smarter because all them TikTok boys are cloud chaser and everybody would go purposely after James because they know he's vulnerable and he wants a relationship and say they like him and then and lie about their age and then later on they'd say they're like, you know, 16 and minor and then James is a groomer. Like, bitch, do you really think he'd willingly, after the first scandal, go... And do that again. And talk to them boys. Like, bitch. He should... Uh, in, in my, I personally think James should just completely ignore them whenever they message him. Or why should he even look through the messages his fans sent him? He'll never find a guy because he's looking through his fans that are l l fans and just want to expose him. Those TikTok boys. And he should just stop. Like, he should just completely stop responding to messages. In general, because it's getting him into scandal, it's getting him in trouble, and he should just stop looking and searching for these TikTok boys. They don't want you. They do not want hand. They just want cloud chase. They just want cloud. They, they are cloud chasers. That's what cloud chasers do, you know? And basically, that's it. Just don't respond. Don't respond. You're irrelevant. You're so successful, and he's, like, amazing and a beauty guru and a millionaire. Why should you respond to some nobody in the comments? Or want to get with nobody who says like, Oh, I like you, like bitch. They are just liars. And this is the proof that all men, all straight men, or all masculine men are freaking garbage. And I hate them all. Put all men in cages. And that's why... I don't involve myself with them because they are trash and they'll never want, they'll never have me. And James should have that mindset too because like he should just he, focus, like he's so successful. Why would he need a fucking damn man when he's so successful he got everything by himself? Like makes no sense. So like he, they just want to use him and don't give him the benefit of the doubt. They're all cloud chasers and they're all freaking garbage. And they deserve to go to garbage where they came from. Because they all just want attention. This is like fifth time this has happened to James. And two times before, it turned out to be fake. And I tell you, it's going to be fake again. Because James asked for their age and they say they're 18. And then apparently they lie. But James should either ask for their ID, for their ID or not respond at all. So yeah. Anyways... Back to more cake. Oh my gosh, I love it. Like, thumbnail. This is a good bite. Mm. I have issue. I'm in love with cake, bitch. I cannot get enough of it. Mm. 
Like I really cannot. Mm. Vanilla cake is even better than freaking chocolate one. Mm. I can just move you guys. Like this. Okay. What else do we talk about? Oh. I'm literally the most hated person on TikTok. Whatever. I really don't care. Every single comment is a death threat. I'm used to it by now. It's weird. Hmm. Is it nice to see that? Definitely not. But do I deserve it? I don't think so. Nobody. Nobody does deserve that kind of disgusting shit people write, write to me. But you know what? I'm as strong as bitch. I can take it. Like, I've been hating on since, since like, my sixth grade. Six, since I had six years. Since I was a little kid. As soon as I started going to the first class, first year of primary school or preschool, I don't know what was it, I was hated. Because I was always different, I was always feminine. And it's fine, like, I'm used to it, like, hate has become normal for me, which is, like, weird to say, but it is. When somebody doesn't hate on me, I'm like, what is your motive? What do you want from me? Because I'm always on guard, and so it's easier to get the hate than it is, like, when somebody says something nice and turns out they're just trash. <laughs> So basically, I'm getting notifications. Huh. I've been eating this cake a lot. It's in my feelings out like bitch. No, but really. I don't care. I'm completely immune to the hate. And there's not a single thing in this whole world that somebody hasn't said to me. And it really doesn't bother me. People are threatening me. I'm just unbothered. And I'm just gonna eat this cake. You know? Friendships are fucking fake. Relationships will cheat on you. Your family will disown you. Cake is forever. Mm. I think I had enough of cake. I'm literally about to puke. <laughs> Anyways. If you want to hate me, hate only one bitch. Because at the end of the day... I know who I am, but I'm a boss ass bitch who nobody can reach. Like, I'm definitely unfazed and unreachable. So, so keep on yapping, bitch. Keep on talking about me. Keep on threatening me. It doesn't concern me because I know in my mindset I'm so far above you. And nothing can touch me. Like, literally, I don't care about hate. Like, I get death threats, thousands of death threats a day. It's become normal to me when somebody is trying to... Nice. Then I'm like, oh, what's your motive? Sorry. Um, What's your motive? Because it's, like, weird for me when somebody's nice to me. So, it's easier when everybody's, you know, hating. I really don't care. Because... I'm not like y'all bitches. Like, I'm not like you pathetic human bitches who have feelings and who have their feelings hurt and they cry about it or think about it. Like, I literally don't care. I just know in my mind, like, this is you, this is me, and it's literally, I'm unreachable. So why would I hate comment or anything from a mere pathetic human trash <laughs> reach me? <laughs> Try again, bitch.
So yeah. Anyways, thank you for watching this mukbang drama and other things. And uh, let me a little rant a little bit, you know. So remember to stay a bad bitch and see you in my next one. Bye ho. Mwah.